As the Yes Network presents the Subway Series Showdown, presented by Verizon, America's most reliable network. And today, it's the New York Mets against the New York Yankees in the first game of a split doubleheader from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, New York. Off their second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Michael Conforto in right field will bat second. Hitting third, the DH, Pete Alonso. Dominic Smith at first base will clean up. And Masahiro Tanaka going to tow that slab in the boogie down Bronx today. It's going to be his 14th start. And they hit off the splitter. This year it's 333. Lined in the left center field. It is caught by a diving gardener. Took a double away from McNeil. Wow, the difference between out number one and probably a triple as that splits the big gap in the left center, and that is as good as it gets. Gardner on his horse, fully extended. Come get us to the rest of the National League East. Swing and a miss, Conforto down on strikes. One, two. Swing and a miss. So Tanaki gets picked up by Gardner, then strikes out Conforto and Alonzo. Mets three up, three down, and the Yankees coming to bat. Second baseman D.J. LeMay who leads off. Batting second, the center fielder Aaron Hicks. Luke Boyd, the D.H. Gary Sanchez will catch. D.D. Gregorius, the shortstop, at fifth. This will be his 14th start on the year. And, you know, the numbers are a little deceiving. The ERA is a little bit high. And I'll peel back some layers kind of on the famous that. draft, that 2009 draft. Swing and a miss. One away. High pop-up, shallow right. McNeil back in foul territory. He makes the play for the second out. So three and two on Voight. Did he go? Yes, he did. Voight thought it was ball four. He cannot believe it. Punched out by John Lipka at first base. So the Yankees go down in order. You decide, did he go? Swing and a miss. Three straight strikeouts for Tanaka. Two-two. Grounded to third. A shell with a tough hop into the bread basket. Across to Morales and another one-two-three inning for Tanaka and the Yankees. We go to the bottom of the second. Would have been the final out of the game, and he said it was one of the worst feelings he's ever had in his professional life. That one served down the left field line. That should be a base hit. And go one hop up against the wall as Gregorius picks up a double. He's been red hot since coming off the I.L. Swing and a miss. He goes down on strikes. Served to left field. That is going to be a base hit. That'll get in Gregorius. An RBI single for Morales, and the Yankees lead 1-0. A torn labrum ended his career after four minor league seasons. High fly ball left field. Cutting over into left center as Ligaris makes the play. But the Yankees get a run on two hits. One man left. For the better. 1-2. Ground ball, backhanded by Gregorius, fires the first, and it's in the dirt, but blocked by Morales. He couldn't come up with the scoop, as Rosario will reach. You always take a close look at those kind of throws, because that's a real test on the surgically repaired elbow. Where it goes. That one served into right center field. It's a base hit in front of Hicks. Rosario will go to third. First hit for the Mets. Nito picks up a single, first and third, nobody out. Ground ball is short. Off the glove of Gregorius. No play. Run scores. 1-1 game. That'll be a base hit and an RBI for Ligaris. Oh, so close. <clears throat> Didi with the dive and just can't quite keep it in the glove as it trickles away. Driven deep to right center field. That ball is gone. A three-run home run for McNeil, and it's 4-1 Mets.
with an 840 OPS that just went up. Alonzo grounds it to Urshela. Grounded to Kendrys Morales. He'll take it himself, and that'll do it. But the damage done. Four runs, three hits, one error. The big hit off the bat of 27-year-old Jeff McNeil. 3-2. Grounded up the middle, a base hit for Gardner. Gardner one for 27 before that base hit. Chop right back to Wheeler. Fires the second, and they get one. He barehanded that ball and fired a bullet to Rosario for the first out. Wheel and deal and taking a chance. Oh, might want to put on uh, might want to put on the headphones there. And Aaron Boone, yes, they caught that that he never touched second base. It's a big play, potential overturn right there. Crowd just sees it, they cheer, and it is overturned. So the Yankees saw it right away. One, two. Hit sharply and booted there by Smith. He'll get the out at second. Reaching his hits and moving to third is Gardner. So if he feels that cleanly, it's probably a double play. Swing and a miss. Gas upstairs. Voight overpowered, two away. Popped up. Going to be a tough play. Does it find grass? Yes, it does. Scoring is Gardner. Moving to third is Hicks. It's a bloop RBI single for Sanchez. And it's 4-2 Mets. Swing and a miss. Gregorius down on strikes. But the Yankees get a run. Two hits. Two left. There. What do you think's going wrong? I think I think we started to see the improvement in his last outing in Toronto, even though, and then he did get hurt with it. But I think he's thrown a number of good ones today. I think we're I think he's starting to find some traction with it actually. Now DD Gregorius gets a double his first time up. Mm -hmm. That made him five for ten since coming off the IL. Is that a little surprising? He didn't have that many at bats in rehab. Tanaka deals, swing and a miss. Got him. Went upstairs at the fastball. Two away. The 0 1. Nito rips one, knocked down there by Gregorius, and that saves a run. So it's a base hit for Nito, but by knocking it down and keeping it out of the outfield, that keeps Frazier at third. Runner goes from first. Swung on and missed. Lagar's down on strikes. No runs, you hit. One error, and two men left. Strike three. Frazier down looking. DeGrom, Syndergaard, and Wheeler. Line drive, a base hit to right center field for Morales. And he's two for two. Good looking lid. High drive, left field. Going back is Davis. Turning, looking. See ya. A two run home run for Urshela. Game is tied at four. The top line is command as well. Grounded to third, Frazier fields deep, fires across the diamond, that pulls Smith off the bag. And LeMayo will reach. And he's gonna go to second as well because it bounced into the camera well. And there's ball four, and they'll take their chance with Voight, who has struck out twice against Wheeler. As the Yankees try to take advantage of the extra out. Driven deep to left field. Turning and looking is Davis. See ya. A long home run for Voight. Into the bleachers. A three-run shot. It is 7-4 Yanks. One-one. Rounded to short, Rosario gets Sanchez. But the Yankees take the lead.
guys that actually believes in you and has confidence in you being in New York. It's just been unbelievable. He also noted that he was in a bad place last year, getting stuck, putting up good numbers. Name a stat from homers to slugging, RBIs. He's all over it. Fly ball, left field. Going back as Gardner makes the play and a 1-2-3 inning. The difference in the game right now. But all three of those runs against Wheeler, that one is sky to center. Lagaris there. All three of those runs are unearned because of the throwing error by Todd Frazier. Popped up. Shallow left. And it is a long run for Davis. He can't make the play. And Morales is going for two. He'll make it. He's three for three. Couldn't have placed that any better if he threw it there. Well, Mafont is up in the Met bullpen. Line drive, base hit, left field. Morales rounding third. They're sending him home. The throw by Davis is cut off. It's an RBI single for Urshela, and it's 8 4 Yanks. Fly ball deep right, going back Conforto. And he can't make the play, it's off his glove. Urshela rounds third. He's coming home. The throw to third. Not in time. An RBI triple for Gardner. Yankees lead 9-4. And a new pitcher for the Mets. It's Wilmer Font. He's made three starts. This will be his 18th game overall. You see his numbers. He's always visit the team. Line short weight off the chest of Frazier stays with it and gets LeMayu for the final out of the fifth. But the Yankees score two more runs on three hits. He comes out to pitch the sixth inning and face Dominic Smith to start it off. That one is lined down the right field line. It's going to be a base hit. That'll go into the corner. Frazier bobbles the ball, but Smith had broken it down, so he'll stop at second. Swing and a miss. Two away. The 0 1. Ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit. Smith will round third. He'll head home. It's an RBI single for Rosario. And now the Yankees are up 9 to 5. Round it shortly. Knocked down by LeMay. We turn that into an out. A bullet by Nito. But the Gold Glove LeMayu got the force at second. Line drive, rip down the right field line, a base hit. Hicks powers into second with a leadoff double. Swing and a miss. Third strike out of the day for Voigt. He does have that three run home run. Line drive. Caught by Frazier, now dropped by Frazier, but they say he dropped it on the transfer. And then the throw to first for no reason because Hicks is at second anyway, but the, that is an out on the line drive. Throw to third. What a play by Frazier. Stolen base for Hicks, but on the short hop by Nito. Round ball to second. McNeil gets Gregorius, and that'll do it here in the sixth. No runs a hit. Up. Keep your bullpen as fresh as you can. Use as few arms as you have to. And Lagares goes down looking. Line drive and past LeMayu. Just exploded over his glove. And Comforta with the single. So his ERA jumped because of that, but not really indicative of how he's pitched this year. He's been great. Did he go? Yes, he did. And Alonso can't believe it as he strikes out on his backside. No runs to hit, no errors, and one man left on base. He thought he held up. Skied into right field. Conforto on the run. He can't get there. It gets by him. It goes to the wall. Frazier will hustle into second with a leadoff double. Boy, he really uses the whole field line to line. 
Driven deep to left field. Davis back. Still back. It's going to be over his head and up against the wall. Frazier scores easily. Urshela with an RBI double. Yankees lead 10-5. High fly ball. Left center. J.D. Davis with the catch. Tagging and going to third. Urshela, and he's out. Good throw by Davis, and the tag by Frazier, and that will do it. As Urshela commits the Cardinal sin, making the third out at third. For Hale, his fifth game of the year. He needed, along with Nestor Cortez, Acquitted himself very well. Soft ground ball. Urshela gets Frazier two away. So it's counted as 41,538. Line to left field. The base hit for Davis. And Davis is one for four. Fly ball. Center field. Hicks is there. And that'll do it in the eighth. No runs to hit. No errors. And one man left. We go to the bottom of the eighth. 10 5 Yanks. Tim Peterson, third Met pitcher. And a walk to Voigt. Well, here you go, David. The call you spoke of. 3 2. Driven deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. A long home run for Sanchez. A two-run blast. 12-5 Yanks. Right on cue. Laced in the left field, a base hit for Gregorius, his second of the game. After giving up 14 all of last year. Ripped to left field. Davis on the run. He's there to put it away for the second out. Grounded to first. Smith is there. And that will do it. Three game show on yes. And then game two will be on picks 11 at 7 o'clock. Nito grounds it out to San, uh, Gregorius. Over to Morales. One away. Swing and a miss. Lagaris strikes out for the third time today. And the Mets are down to their, their final out here in the ninth. Found it and threw for a base hit. This kick can hit. His second hit of the afternoon. And the one two. Popped up. Left field. Gardner. Makes the play, and the Yankees win 12-5. to Luke Voigt with a big three-run home run. Gave the Yankees the lead. They never looked back. Brett Gardner, a couple of hits as well. And a good way to start a day-night doubleheader, David.